morning. Welcome to our Mathematics 5 class. Our topic is Area of a Given Circle. Learning Competency finds the area of a given circle. This is quarter 4, module number 1. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to find the area of a given circle. Let us have this pretest first. Are you ready? Read each item carefully. Circle the letter of the correct answer. For number 1, what is the area of the given circle? Is it A, 6 and 28 hundredths square centimeters? B, 12 and 56 hundredths square centimeters? C, 25 and 12 hundredths square centimeters? Or D, 50 and 24 hundredths square centimeters? The correct answer is the letter B. Number 2. A circle has a radius of 10 decimeters. Find its area. A. 15 and 70 hundredths square decimeters. B. 31 and 40 hundredths square decimeters. C. 62 and 80 square decimeters. Or D. 314 square decimeters. The correct answer is letter D. Let's move on to number 3. What is the area of a circle with a diameter of 12 cm? A. 113 and 400 square centimeters. B. 37 and 68 hundredths square centimeters. C. 18 and 84 hundredths square centimeters. Or D. 9 and 42 hundredths square centimeters. Answer is letter A. Number 4. Find the area of a round plate with a radius of 3 decimeters. A. 282 and 6 tenths square decimeters. B. 28 and 26 hundredths square decimeters. C. 2 and 286 thousandths square decimeters. Or D. 2,286 ten thousandths square decimeters. And the correct answer is letter B. Number 5. John Lewis drew a circle that has a diameter of 14 centimeters. What is the area of this circle? Is it A. 1,538 and 6 tenths square centimeters? Letter B. 153 and 86 hundredths square centimeters? Letter C. 15 and 386 thousandths square centimeters or, or letter D, 1 and 5,386 ten thousandths square centimeters. And the correct answer is letter B. How many correct answers did you get? Do not worry, this is to test your knowledge of our lesson for today. Let us have a recap of our previous lesson. Match the words in column A with the meanings in column B. Write the letter on the blank before the number. Now we can post this video while answering. Let us now have the answers. For number 1, correct answer is letter B. Circle is a closed curve formed by a set of points on a plane that are the same distance from its center. Number 2. We have letter E. Diameter is a line segment which passes through the center of the circle whose end points are on the circle. Number 3. Letter A. Radius is a line segment from the center to a point on the circle. Number 4 is letter D. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. And for number 5, we have letter C. Compass is an instrument used to draw circles. Did you get all the correct answers, kids? Good job! You really understood our previous lesson. Let us have our new lesson through this word problem. Let us read the word problem. 
Grace wants to buy a round photo frame for her sister. The radius of the photo frame is 8 cm. What is the area of the photo frame? Now, what is us in the problem? Yes, the area of the round photo frame. Now, since the photo frame is round, it means that we will find the area of a circle. Do you know how to find the area of a circle? Let's find out. The area of a circle is the number of square units inside that circle. Now look at this circle. If each square in the circle to the left has an area of 1 square centimeter, you could count the total number of squares to get the area of this circle. Thus, if there were a total of 28 and 2600 squares, the area of this circle would be 28 and 2600 square centimeters. However, it is easier to use one of the following formulas. Where area is equal to pi r squared or area equals pi times r times r. Where a is the area, r is the radius, and pi is equal to 3 and 14 hundredths or 22 over 7. Let's find the area of the photo frame Grace wants to buy using the formula. So we have area equals pi r squared. Let's now substitute the value of the following. So pi is equal to 3 and 14 hundredths. The radius of the circle is 8 centimeters. So we have 3 and 14 hundredths times 8 centimeters squared. Since this uh, we have exponent 2, we will multiply 8 twice. So we have 3 and 14 hundredths times 8 centimeters times 8 centimeters. Multiplying 8 centimeter by 8 centimeter, the value is 64 square centimeters. So we will multiply 3 and 14 hundredths times 64 square centimeters and we will have 296 hundredths square centimeters. Therefore, the area of the round photo frame Grace wants to buy is 296 hundredths square centimeters. What is the area of the circle? Now as you can see, what is given is the diameter of the circle. Since the formula is only given in terms of radius, remember to change from diameter to radius when necessary. Now the radius is equal to half the diameter. Since our diameter is 4 cm, diameter divided by 2 is equal to radius. So therefore, 4 cm divided by 2 equals 2 cm. The radius of the circle therefore is equal to 2 cm. We already know that the radius of the circle is 2 cm. Now, let's now find the area of the circle. So area equals pi r squared. Substituting the values of pi and radius, we have 3 and 14 hundredths times quantity 2 centimeters squared equals 3 and 14 hundredths times 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters. Multiplying 2 centimeter by 2 centimeter, we have 4 square centimeters. So, 3 and 14 hundredths times 4 square centimeters, we will get... 12 and 56 hundredths square centimeters. Therefore, the area of the circle with a diameter of 4 centimeters is 12 and 56 hundredths square centimeters. This time, work on this activity. Find the area of the following figures. Now let me remind you that you can pause this video if you need more time answering the activities. Answers to activities class will be at the end of this video lesson so that you can check your answers later. Let us proceed to keep practicing. Box the correct area of which circle given the radius or diameter. Again, while answering this activity, you can post this video.
activity 3, test yourself. Complete the table by providing the correct diameter, radius, and area. Again, while working on this activity, you can post this video. Let me check if you understood our lesson for today by providing the correct words to complete the statement. Let's now complete the statement. Remember, to get the area of a circle, use the formula... Yes, you're right! Use the formula area equals pi r squared, where the value of pi is 3 and 14 hundredths, and r is the length of the radius. Very good! May no gift too small to give, nor too simple to receive, which is wrapped in thoughtfulness and tied with love. From L.O. Bard. Now, being thoughtful to our loved ones makes them feel valued and loved. Do you value your parents, brothers, or sisters? How do you show your thoughtfulness to them? Let us proceed to post test. Answer them carefully. Let me remind you that you can post this video to have ample time answering each question. Since you are done with activities and post tests, you can check your answers using the key answer provided at the end of this video lesson.